Hi, this is Forrest from Rapid Rollout. I'm going to be doing another demo of Workbench, our online OS configuration and build system. For this demo, I'm going to be configuring a platform that boots to a full screen Java graphical application. The application I'll be using is the Space Invaders demo game that comes with the lightweight Java game library from lwjgl.org. Let's go ahead and get started. So first we need to add some features to this platform. We'll need the graphical user interface and applications packages. And we'll also need the Java runtime environment. Next we should upload the application files. I'll be using the integrated file manager provided by Workbench. And I have an LWJGL directory on my hard drive. Uh, inside that directory are the LWJGL jar files, uh, native libraries, and resource files for the Space Invaders game. And I'm going to upload that entire directory. I'll upload that to the apps folder in Workbench. The apps folder is where program files go as opposed to writable data files. Let's go ahead and get that upload started. Okay, and it's going to take a few minutes to upload those files. Okay, so our application files have finished uploading. Let's move on to configuring platform options. Again, a lot of these options we can leave set to the defaults. We'll set the video res resolution to match the resolution of the game, which is 800 by 600. On the GUI tab, we're going to set the mouse cursor to be hidden because we don't need the mouse cursor for this game. I'm going to configure a boot graphic, which is displayed when the system boots. I'll be using this LWJGL logo, which is set in a white background. So I'll set the fill color to match the background color of the logo. We also need to configure the Java application to start when the system boots. I'll add an application with type Java program. For this particular Java application, we're going to enter a Java class name as opposed to selecting a jar file with a main class header. We also need to configure the Java class path. Workbench has an autocomplete feature that searches through the uploaded jar files. We can also use this wildcard entry that adds all of the jar files in that particular directory. That's fine for us. The Space Invaders game also finds its resources by searching the class path, so we need to add the resources directory here too. We also need to configure the native library path. Again, we can use the autocomplete feature. And finally, we need to pass some command line options to the Java game. We're going to pass the full screen option to tell it to run in full screen mode. That's all we need to configure here, so I'm going to go ahead and save the, the platform options. Next, we can move over to starting a build. Okay, so our build is running and we should be ready to deploy in about half an hour. I've already installed a platform with this configuration on a test machine. Let's boot it up and see what it looks like. <laughs> 